What's up everybody, my name is Larry G and today I'm going to be going over three basic portrait lighting techniques. The first lighting technique is to use natural light. So that means anything natural, daylight, anything outside, something like that. So if you're inside, like the case of these photos, you would go near a window. Natural light looks the best on skin because that's normally what our eyes are used to. It also is a very great diffused light. So it's very even, it falls across the face naturally, it looks nice. The second technique is to use a daylight balanced light. Now, if it's nighttime, if it's dark, if the sky isn't cooperating with you or if you can't get near a window to use that natural light, these lights are the next best thing. The color temperature is balanced to mimic daylight. In this example, I didn't have any extra modifiers. I didn't do anything extra. It's just the light bulb shining directly towards me. In some cases, you may want to use an umbrella or a soft box to diffuse the light. And that means just to spread it evenly, uh, spread it more wide across the surface. But for this example, I just positioned the light in a way to where I thought it would look decent. Now, as you can see, when you have to use a light, it'll cast shadows depending on where you place it and if you diffuse it or not. So be careful and wary of things like that. The third lighting technique is to use a strobe or a speed light. So in my case, I have a speed light and I put a diffuser on it so that it softens it a little bit and spreads it a little more evenly. I already had my settings dialed in. Also take note that this is off camera speed light. So I have a system that's set up on my camera that links to the speed light and whenever it takes a photo, the speed light goes off and it's not attached to my camera. Much like when you use an external light, this also casts a shadow. So be careful and wary of that. Sometimes you can get away with positioning the speed light in a way to where it kind of gets rid of the shadow. It also depends on how strong the flash is and how much diffusion you have. All of these lighting techniques can be achieved fairly cheaply. Um, natural light obviously is free. The lights that I have, I got them for about $80 on Amazon and they came with umbrellas and things like that. Um, I know you can buy soft boxes for fairly cheap, 20, 30 bucks on Amazon as well. And as far as the speed light, I lucked out and one came with my camera because I bought it secondhand. But I've seen good quality speed lights go for as low as $50 on eBay and Amazon. So just be sure to shop around and get what works for you. I hope these three techniques are good enough to help you get started and see that you don't have to have a lot of money and you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good, decent lighting setup for your photos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which lighting setup was your favorite. Which photo was your favorite? Vote down below in the comments. I would really appreciate that. Thank you all for watching. My name is Larry G and you can believe that.